You are welcome to the clinical assessment of a patient with confusion. This is a master class medicine in psychiatry. I'm Dr. Prosper Tetedo in the United Kingdom. And these are the formats for this presentation. I'll be presenting a clinical case scenario which will lead on to the various hemisphere stroke the right hemisphere stroke and left hemisphere stroke and cerebellar stroke. So first, the clinical scenario. Um, patient X was brought by his wife. This patient is 65 year old father brought to the A&E. He's confused. He has history of stroke with left him, which left him with visual impairment and left-sided paralysis. The instruction is do a cognitive assessment, including mini mental state examination. The patient has a past history suggesting right brain stroke, and he might have had a recent vascular event. Now, the right hemisphere stroke is one which is based on affection of the right hemisphere of the brain, which controls the left side motor function, analytical and perceptual tasks, such as judging distance, size, speed, or position and seeing how parts are connected into a whole. Survivors of right hemisphere stroke, along with left side paralysis, may also have problems with their spatial and perceptual abilities. They may, this may cause them to misjudge distances, leading to a fall or be unable to guide their hands to pick up an object, like button a shirt or tie their shoes. They may even be unable to tell right side up from upside down when trying to read. Along with their impaired ability to judge special relationships, survivors of right hemisphere strokes often have judgment difficulties that show up in their behavior styles. And these patients may often develop impulsive style of un being unaware of their impairments and certain of their ability to perform the same task as before the stroke. This behavior style can be extremely dangerous. It may lead the left hemiplegic stroke survivor to try to walk without aid, or it may lead the survivor with spatial and perceptual impairments to try to drive a car. Survivors of right hemisphere strokes may also experience left sided neglect. Stemming from visual fields impairments, left-sided neglect causes the survivor of a right hemisphere stroke to forget or ignore objects or people on their left side. Finally, some survivors of right hemisphere strokes will experience problems with short-term memory. During cognitive function assessment, it is important to identify signs of past stroke and the recent vascular events. Now we are moving on to the left hemisphere stroke. The left hemisphere of the brain controls the movement of the right side of the body and speech and language abilities for most people. A left hemisphere stroke often causes right hemiplegia. In contrast to survivors of right 
hemisphere stroke. Patients who have had a left hemisphere stroke often develop a slow and cautious behavioral style. They may need frequent instruction and feedback to complete tasks. Finally, patients with left hemisphere stroke may develop memory problems similar to those of right hemisphere stroke survivors. These problems can include shortened retention span, difficulty in learning new information, and problems in conceptualizing uh, information or generalization. The third group is cerebellar stroke. The cerebellum controls many of our reflexes and much of our balance and coordination. This happens in stroke that takes place in the cerebellum, causing abnormal reflexes of the head and torso and problems of coordination and balance, dizziness, nausea, and vomiting. Thank you very much for your attention. And I hope you enjoy this presentation. If so, click on subscribe so you receive future similar presentations. I wish you all the best in your career. Bye.